Hello one and all and most welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about G plus 10 story concrete structure in SAP 2000 software. I am going to select here new model here. Then we have new model initialization. So we'll select initialize model from default setting and default unit units for force, distance and temperature and also the standard I will select here 3D frame. The number of stories will be 11 and number of B's in X directions will be 5 and in Y directions will be 7. The typical story height is 3 meters and also other is also 3, 3 meter. Then I will select custom grid spacing and will edit this one. Spacing, I will select here the display grid as spacing here. I will add spacing here 4.9 meter and here 4.1 meter 2.31 meter 4.5 meter and also 4.229 meter then for y grids 1.95 meter 3.4 meter 4 meter 5.2 meter 1.94 meter and also and the final will be zero and we do not need this two i will delete this one and also this one and i will do not change the z grid lines so so i will do not change the grids for not change the grids for z axis then after that i will select ok i will define the sectional properties for beams and columns here add new property and i will select here concrete rectangular here it is beam beam 35 by 0 0.24 0 0.35 and here 24 then i will select here the material as a 4000 psi it is like I'm using American Society of Civil Engineering code. Reinforced concrete will be for beams and it is steel. Here I will do not change anything. Then I will select OK. Then OK again. The same I will do for columns concrete here. The section property type is concrete and rectangular. Here it is for column. It is 0.35 by 0.35 and I will change here 0.35 and also here 0.35 so the material is the same and also the reinforcement it is like it is still and it is for column type is column and here I will change the size to uh, this size to 16 D and here I will change to 10 D then I will reinforcement to be checked press ok and press ok again so it is beam and here is the column then i will press ok so it's a concrete structure with beams in column elements i will define here a slab sections i will come here section properties and here area sections i will select here shell and add new section so slab it is so it is slabs 150 it is member on and uh, it it's member on and also the thickness is 0 0.15 0 0.15 for bending as well material i will change the material i will add new material united states and concrete also here i will change to 3000 press ok and ok again i will change here and i will select here ok so this slab section has been defined then I'll press OK again. Do not need few beams and I will just select that beams. This beam I do not need here as well. This one. Because I just need these beams and these beams which is for lift. I will select this beam as well. And this one. This one. I will select all those beams which I do not need. Then I'll press delete beams has been deleted only i need this beams and this beam then i will do for other story as well select the same i will do for other story select all these beams above story select this beam 
select all these beams and press delete i am going here also select 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 and i will delete so i have deleted all these beams which i do not need for each in every story to create a slab section for all the for all these stories so i will come here so i will come here to draw here the quick draw area where i will just select this one and the slabs which i have defined here this slab and i will select these area and i will release so then i will just escape and let's say look here i'm going to the display options general and also the fill object here apply and okay so i have created a slab here and look here for this as well so now i will just delete this two slabs which is for lift so this two is for lift and and this will be for staircase so now i am going to just replicate this slab to other stories as well i will select here select properties and area sections here slab here and i will press ctrl r we can just go there and i will just select it is three uh, meter it is the height and how many stories so it is g plus 10 story means we have here and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten times will be increment so i will just apply and okay look here the slab for whole structure has been created now i'm going to select whole structures for control a then i'm going to assign here the joint forces the joint load and forces here so like it will be the dead load or the forces for each and every joint will be applied it is like one one in each and every direction so add to the existing load will apply okay now i'm going here to define and here the load pattern it will be live load live load and the type will be live here life and add then it will be earthquake and x direction and it will be quick and the code will be american society of civil engineering 716 add then it will be in earthquake and y direction the same code here and it will be wind x then it will be wind the code will be american uh, society of civil engineering 716 here the add and it will be wind y as well i will add this load pattern also now i'm going to modify the earthquake about x and y axis here it will be the global x directions i will select here and here the ss will be 1.15 and s1 will be 0.51 the long period transition will be 8 and here the site class is b and also the time period will be program determined here and here the response modification factor is 7 and system average strength factor is 3 and the deflection amplification or cd is 5.5 and occupancy importance factor is 1.1 i will select ok the same i will do for earthquake y axis global y directions and also ss is 1.15 and s1 is here 0.51 and the long period is 8 side clauses b here and the period will be program calculated and the response modification factor is 7 system aversion factor is 3 deflection amplification or cd factor is 5.5 and occupancy importance factor is 1.1 and i will press ok the same i will modify for wind here exposure extent like it is the wind speed is 100 mph and also exposure type is b here and other factors will be remain same here then i will press ok and wind for y so it will be 100 and that exposure type is b here and also other factors is ok press ok and finally okay again for load pattern i'm going to the define here and the load combination here and it will be concrete frame design and will add all the combination will be added and i will press ok now i am going to apply the dead load live load for beams column and slab
then I will select here properties and frame section I will select beams first select and close I will calculate the dead load for beams and I will apply it so the dead load for beams will be so the beam thickness is 0.35 multiply 0.24 multiply with unit weight it is 2.1 so I will assign here the load frame load and here gravity I will select here the dead load and will apply 2.1 here 2.1 and after the existing load will apply and ok now I will select here columns to, uh, to dead load will and dead load will be applied I will select properties here the frame sections and select all the columns close will assign here frame load and here is the distributed and here is the frame load and here is the gravity here select a dead load and will apply here I will calculate the dead load for four columns column thickness is 0 0.35 multiply 0 0.35 multiply with unit weight 3.0 something I will just paste it here and after the existing load it is dead load for columns and press ok and again ok uh, dead load for beams and column has been applied now I'm coming here to slab the dead load and live load will be applied we'll select here select here area section properties and here area section slab select close assign here and here is the area load here the uniform shell so I will select here the load pattern will be dead load and how much it will be so the slab thickness is point 15 multiply with 25 is equal to 3.75 and add to the existing load apply ok look here the dead load for slabs has been applied load it is dead load and now I will get the previous selection here sorry I will select here again slab here properties and area sections select all the slabs here close then I will assign here it is area load here uniform shell then I will select here the live load live load and it will be will be 2 then I will just add to the existing load press ok and ok so the dead load and live load has been applied for these slabs look here the load pattern is live load and dead load and ok so I have applied the dead load for beams and dead load for columns and that in live load for slabs as well so now I am coming here to the ground now I came to the supports of the structure I will select all the nodes here and I will assign here the supports joint here constraints here and fixed apply ok so the fixed supports has been applied so now everything completed i will just save this structure and and will go for it is analysis process so i will save this model here run analysis an analysis but i will save it first g plus 10 story concrete structure i will press ok so the analysis has been completed for this structure look here you can just go for it is deform shapes or you can just start animation here so it will start its animation about earthquake so it will start animation about earthquake y axis for example you can come here select the deform shape here and you just select for earthquake x axis work combination you will see the different results apply ok so it is the deformed shapes now I'm coming here to the show forces and shear force and bending moment so now I'm coming here to the frame cable tendons for shear force and bending moment I will select here the component as a shear force 2 2 and you can select combo and apply for this structure look here when you just maximize it you can just look here for it is shear force and here the same you can do without values here it is shear force look here I will draw for XY here so it is shear force for this structure I'm coming here 
again here so it is shear force so it is a shear force for the for the structure i will just make it minimize the same i'm going here again for bending moment momentum 3 3 and apply so it is a moment look here it is a moment for this combo so it is a moment and if you just look here without like in fill diagrams you will look here differently it is a bending moment m33 and you can just change the combo as well and look for different results now i'm going here for design here design and will look for here the device references for concrete structures it will like uh, i will select this code american code and i will press ok then i am going here to design concrete frame here start design check for structure so it will start the design check for this structure look here it is showing that the checking is going on after checking we will look results it will take some time because it is 11 story structure so and uh, and you can go for it is design check here and like you will go here for it is design check when all the member passed or do not passed and you can do all the checks and to get the results like i have shown you for shear force and bending moment in other results so you have learned about how to model a g plus 10 story concrete structures and set 2000 and do all the required procedure and steps and we have done the analysis and saw some results about shear force and bending moment and others then have a wonderful time and see you in another tutorial bye bye